pleasure today, fellow Toastmasters, to introduce a speaker who is on his third speech in his Comp Communicator manual, and he is going to be doing Project 3, Getting to the Point. And the goals for this speech is to select a speech topic and determine your speech's purpose. Uh, you need to identify the speech topic and uh, determine its general and specific purposes, of course. Organize the speech in a manner that best achieves that purpose. Ensure that the beginning, body, and conclusion all tie in together and reinforce the purpose. And project sincerity and conviction and control any nervous nervousness that you feel. Strive to not use notes and incorporate suggestions from previous evaluations as you prepare and rehearse this speech. So Ravi today is going to, to give us a speech on, well the title is My Home During Christmas in European Union. And for the time, my, my Home During Christmas in European Union. For the timer, we can have lights at five, six, and seven. And with that, Robbie. Good morning, everyone. I brought the notes, but I'm not planning to do so because there is one name which I may mispronounce. It. That's why I got. Anyhow, the title is very obscure, you may think. But I'm, the general purpose of this topic is I wanted to establish a connection between your own world versus the big world. You see what's happening around you has a, is a more like a simulation of what's going on in the outside. And that, I found it ironically, what happened during the Christmas time at my home, and what's yours happening in the European Union. So, let me start here. You guys all used Google Earth, right? Zoom, zoom, zoom into street level. You see a home, that's my home. And the day one is Christmas, uh, January 24th. Myself and my wife, we are the only people in the house, and my kids are gone to Florida with her aunt, uh, my, sir, my wife's sister. So we are enjoying our life, and two of us together. And we know that our brother in law is going to join us that, that night. So they came over, four people, into the house. Nothing has changed, we are still happy, everything is going good, because we came with a high expectations of having fun. Second day, December 25th, my kids come back, and with them, my wife's sister comes back, which is basically four more people, comes back in the same house. Great, opening presents, everything went good. 26th, I start getting each year, because if you're comparing a simulation, I'm like a Germany in the European Union. I started this whole thing, but once you are into the party, they are into the celebration or union, I start having them comfortable with you. Why? Because things are changing around me. I wanted to do things in a way, my, my uh, way, way of looking at the world doing business uh, is different than all the 11 people who are in there. Because they are kids, they are doing their own things. They are adults, they are coming with the different expectations. They are here for a vacation. I am the host. They are the guest. So, by the fourth day, my wife starts complaining. And my wife is furious. <laughs> <laughs> I, will give, I will go back to you that with respect to uh, after this, uh, uh, my house team is over, then we'll go back to the European Union, how this whole thing feels formally a day. So how the simulation works and how people start the behavior is affecting their overall performance of a goal. And that's what is the main purpose of this speech, is basically you don't have to go very far to look at things. So anyhow, coming back to my talk, my home again, 
the, my wife start complaining. One thing, she is always cooking. Nobody is helping her. Her own sister, who is supposed to help her, is not helping her. Her own brother is not helping him, helping her. And her obviously brother's wife is she's not even connected. And the kids in the first few days they listen to whatever we said. After that, they are on their own. So things are falling apart. By the fifth or sixth day, which is December 28, we were all hoping that when this will end. But they still have three more days to go. <laughs> <laughs> so things started to tension started to get worse. People get irritated. Nobody's falling in. Thirty first comes saying, Ah, oh, thank God, the last day of the day, our whole thing is there. Everybody's gonna go tomorrow. And everybody comes back to normal because now they see that light at the end of the tunnel. January 1st, early morning, everybody leaves. My wife and myself, my kids, recompose ourselves, clean the damn house completely, <laughs> and by the second, we are happy family again. Now, we are still at the street level. Zoom up to 200 miles elevation on the Google map. What you see is your. Europe has the same issues. The simulation is so striking that I started thinking, that, man, I see it. Why, they do, why they are having problems. 1992, Germany was going through some political issues because East and West are combined. So they wanted to form unified Germany. At that point, somebody told that, why not we form a European Union? Okay, let's bring all the parties together have a common currency. We have 322 million people. We can be a direct competition to the United States. But all the players are, they come with different expectations. They don't have the same standards as Germany. They don't have the same financial capacity as Germany. They don't have the same taxation as Germany, or France for the same too. Germany and France, like Myanmar, are the biggest promoters of the European Union. They wanted to see a significant political and economic advantage by having a union. And of course, they want to have a bigger market too. So that's a different story. But anyhow, so when the other people start coming in, and with bad taxation, bad political uh, issues, they started to ruin the farm. And by you all know that in the last three years, how the Greeks were formed. Greece has been in trouble from the day one when they stepped into the European Union. Because their expectation was, we're just going to take the big brother and keep growing. Well, the big brother, the brother, don't have a lot of patience. So now, Greece is going to be kicked out very soon. And a lot of these, there are called five countries called PIGS, P-I-I-G-S, Portugal, Ireland, uh, Iceland, uh, and uh, uh, what's that? Uh, uh, anyhow, so pigs, they are five countries, uh, and they are all going to be in bigger trouble. And Germany and France are bearing the fun of it. So they are just can't wait to get rid of them so that they can have their house back again. So with that one, I think I made a purpose of this is a connection between what's going around you versus the outside, outside bigger world where you can see a significant, uh, you can see the problems and maybe solutions also. Right. Thank you.